Well, we could say the biggest sign and wonder is the presence of God himself, God the Holy Spirit, turning up in a meeting or transforming an entire nation. Now, we have the Azusa Street Revival, which broke out in, in 1906 under William Seymour. And for them, the biggest sign was like speaking in tongues and the interpretation of tongues. Now, going up the scale, you have the Indonesian Revival, which broke out in, in 1964. Lasted about 10 years. But for the first five years, it was largely confined to the island of Timor. And the miracles were absolutely incredible. Literally, people walked on water. There was manna from heaven. There was just supernatural signs in the sky above. You had all the various types of healings, even like creative miracles. Interesting also, I mean, sometimes there is a revival and it's known as what I would classify as a healing revival. Basically, it's where people go and get healed. I mean, the presence of God there is, is so tangible. And in many respects, that was very big and prominent in the 1950s. You had a lot of big healing evangelists, especially in America. And we often demonize presence revivals and sanitize past ones. And often we view them through like a rose-colored spectacles as if they were something which they weren't actually at all. Um, we often neglect or pretend or skim over some of the more negative aspects of revivals, something which we shouldn't do.